the elements of uh, the fourth industrial revolution or industry 4.0 have already entered our daily life and the mining industry is not the exception the technology is being implemented here uh, with a fantastic pace assisting the humans in uh, hard continuous jobs and creating the new jobs opportunities my name is Vladimir Sosoyev. I work as a global product manager for the automation here at Epiroc. And together with uh, my colleagues from Sims, we would like uh, to demonstrate uh, one step towards the higher efficiency. Now we are on the way to our test mine in Orbe County in Sweden, the place where we are testing our technology before put it in the field and after all the lab tests are conducted. And uh, together we are using the uh, modern car that uh, has uh, all the existing features and among others it has uh, the uh, latent assist function that turns it back if uh, I get uh, too close to the center of the road or too close to the side of the road. I'm wondering if this feature will be applicable in underground conditions as well. Nikos, uh, please explain what we are doing here today. Uh, today we are going to test the driver assist function. Mm -hmm. And that is a function that fills the gap between telemote operation and autonomous operation. Mm -hmm. You know, as a telemote operator, it's difficult to, to drive fast yeah. because you're not in the machine. Uh, but with the load resist functionality, we will use the gliders on the machine to prevent the operator from driving to the wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this function, we can increase the top speed of the telemote operations. Mm -hmm. So we will fill the gap between the telemote operator and the autonomous operation. Using the driver assist function, mm -hmm. we'll increase the speed for the telemote loader mm -hmm. because when we stop hitting the wall we can drive faster yes. of course it depends on the condition of the road in the mine but by using the driver assist function there is no technical limitation to how high the speed could be it could end up being the maximum speed of the loader Johan, you are the one who has developed the code yeah, that's right could you please explain in two words on how does the algorithm work? Sure, uh, it's rather simple. We have laser sensors on the machine that scan the surroundings, mm -hmm. measure the distance to the walls, and then we use that information to calculate the path ahead of the machine that we can follow to avoid the walls. Sounds great. May I try that? Absolutely. Yeah, now I'm driving the right. Yeah. And it's just for the wall. Yeah. Can I switch on the second gear? Yeah. Okay, now it's faster. And pull it to the front yeah. and then try it to the right. Quite impressive. <laughs> okay, let's try it. What will we do now? Yeah, we will try this third scenario. We'll try to run into a dead end stop. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay to run with a full speed? Yeah. Like, uh, it's okay. So I just uh, full throttle till uh, Until the end of the project. End of the tunnel. Yeah. All right. Now we go. <laughs> Now it's going to the wall. 
Okay, on uh, that was really impressive. So I really uh, challenged the loader, but I didn't touch uh, the wall once. Uh, tell me, is that uh, do we have any any limitations on how we uh, on which machine and and uh, what type of infrastructure the machine? No, no, not whatsoever. It's completely independent of the communication infrastructure or machine size or type. Oh, that sounds great. I think uh, it's time to put it on the market. Thank you. Excellent.